Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dylan. Look, let's get straight to the point. This video is a quick fix for thumbnail previews on your desktop, right? I edit on a Mac in Final Cut Pro, and very often when I export a video out as an MOV or an MP4, the thumbnail it gives me is just the worst. It's always my face, or if it's a client video, it's the client's face like this. And it's like, Final Cut, why are you doing this to me? So I've tried a whole bunch of different bits and pieces and I feel like I've done this before in the past in other ways, but I found a way that's super, super quick and super easy. And I just wanna share it with you. So jump onto the desktop. You can see here, I've got my video file, right? This is an over and out show that I do with my buddy Ryan. Now, when you open this up in QuickTime, you can see that this obviously just picked the first frame. Now, sometimes it picks a worse frame than that, but what is kind of cool about this is you can scroll anywhere along that video, just scrub along the bit to the bit you're happy, right? And then you hit, come on, copy. You can see the edit flickers up in the top left. Then go to your video, click on the video, right click on it, go to get info. Up in the top left is a quick time icon. Just click on the icon till the highlights is blue and hit command V. And the frame you selected in your video is now your thumbnail. Now, I decided, if that works, what else could I try, All right? So I found a JPEG for the thumbnails that I create that I upload to YouTube for these. And I opened that in preview. So I thought if it works with a video, I'm sure he'll work with a JPEG. So I pick, so I'm not saying this is the best thumbnail in the world. This is probably one of the worst. You're in um, preview, same thing. Come on, copy, go back to that little thing, click on that icon area and hit paste. And if you're designing your own thumbnail, something like YouTube, you can now use your thumbnail as your preview thumbnail on your computer. Like how simple is that? Why that isn't easier in the software, I've no idea, but it's pretty simple to do in QuickTime. It's clearly just sitting hidden away there. And maybe there's a bunch of other people like me <laughs> who've been doing this for long enough that they should have known that information. I can't believe how many videos, do you know when like, you do something wrong so many times that you just kind of get used to it and accept it or something happens and you're like, like a plug breaks and you just go, that plug just doesn't work. And then five years later, you're like, that plug's never worked. Well, this is the plug that has now been fixed. What? <laughs> this is the, look, this is the thumbnail fix. Hopefully, I just want to share it with you. Hopefully make your life easier because this has made, this is a game changer for me. This has made my life a lot easier. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you want to check out any more of the stuff on my channel, you can go and do that. I have no idea what the theme of it is. There's a whole mix of stuff there. I just like to have a bit of fun with what I'm creating. If you enjoy the stuff, let me know. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks and best of luck with your uh, thumbnailage in the future. Why? <laughs> There's a lot of thumbs. There's a lot of thumbs up in this video. All the best from Dylan. Thank you.